even if the government is able to get the Mumbai Ahmedabad uh, high speed or bullet train ready by 2027, I want you to share with people sitting here your larger plan. Do you see space? Because this has taken so long from 2014, 13 years to get the first bullet train going when it's up and running. Do you see space in India for the development of high speed railways in the way that China has done? A lot of people say it costs too much money, it's not the best way to be spending our resources. Will this be a one-off showcase project or can this be an example which you replicate in other parts? Just go a bit uh, deeper into transport economics and urban economics, right? When a high-speed rail project comes, what does it do? High-speed rail is not merely a transportation project. Take the case of uh, the first Shinkansen. From Tokyo, Nagoya, Kobe, Kyoto, Osaka. These six large economic zones, they become one economic zone, one super large economic zone. Same is the case from Mumbai, Thane, Wapi, Surat, Baroda, Ahmedabad. All these six cities will become one single economic zone because of high speed rail. That's the power of a high-speed rail system. And no wonder, wherever countries have done high-speed rail, those cities and those areas, those regions, have got significant economic growth because so of the high-speed rail. where else do you intend to go? There are many more corridors which are being identified. There will be good corridors. India has huge potential. India has about a, quite a large number of cities which are million plus. So connecting such cities will be the target so in coming future. So you want to double future. down on? Absolutely, there will be more high-speed corridors. We have absorbed the technology. We have understood the construction methods. We have understood how complex it is to design it. And now we can take, take more projects. Given the political constraints which, function, which impact the functioning of the railways, what are you doing to improve the operational efficiency of the railways? You currently have an uh, operating ratio of 98.22. Uh, how are you hoping to make the railways more efficiently run, given that one hand is tied because of politics and because of welfareism, consumerism, public welfare? I mean, you can call it whatever you want, but what, what's your plan? See, the social obligation will remain. If we take out the cost of social obligation, railways operating efficiency would be, I mean, the operating ratio, as we call, would be something like 75%, right? So that 25% is basically the social obligation cost. That will be there. We are committed towards our social obligation. We leave it over there. Uh, Minister, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Rahul. And it's an absolute pleasure to have you with us at the India Today Business Today Budget Roundtable. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.